Now, this video is showing a Vacaville police officer beating up his canine partner went viral earlier this week during a training exercise. The city of Vacaville announced the officer seen in the video has been separated from the dog. The city says it's reviewing its canine training program. Now, the dog was checked up by a veterinarian and seems not to be injured. Now a group of people are demanding for that officer to be fired and ABC 10's Barbara Bingley went to a protest in Vacaville where she spoke with protesters and the man who recorded and shared that video. Protesters gathered at Vacaville Police Department this afternoon in response to this video in which it appears a police officer punches his canine partner. I was just outraged. I have never seen that kind of abuse. Sarah Peavy, the organizer of the protest, says as an animal lover and the daughter of a military dog trainer, what she saw was not right. I would like that officer to be removed from the force. I was shocked for at least a minute, you know, 40 seconds to a minute where I could just like what is this? The man who shot the video, Roberto Palomino, actually came out too. He explained that he had heard the dog yelping while he was at work. Didn't know what to do. By the time that I realized it was a police officer, it took me like 15, 20 seconds, you know. Saw his car, saw his gun. It looked like police dog to me. So it didn't took that long for me to connect the dots of what was going on in there. I was just watching sure if it was right. He says he came out to thank the protesters as he's gotten a lot of mixed comments on how he went about sharing the video that has since gone viral. It's been a whole trip to me uh, from Monday that I recorded the video till Monday night that I decided to post it. Um, took me a lot of time to reconsider uh, what should it have done or not. He says he stands by what he did and that it wasn't about showing a police officer in a negative light, but to get answers and to help the dog if what he saw and recorded was in fact wrong. I'm no one in this community to tell an officer what he should do and he should not. I'm just a citizen. According to the Vacaville City Public Information Officer, the officer who is seen in the video is no longer the canine's handler, and the dog did not suffer any physical injuries. And the dog is now under the care of a third party outside of the Vacaville Police Department. The investigation is ongoing, and Vacaville Police did not respond to ABC 10's interview requests to get an update on the officer's status of